In other news tonight, public hearings began in Sacramento today on a PG&E rate increase of one and a half billion dollars. KCRA 3's Tom Duhane says the money will be targeted for natural gas transmission, a sensitive topic following the 2010 disaster in San Bruno. This was the first of ten regional rate hearings. Most people here oppose PG&E's application for $1.5 billion over three years. If you need that much money because your structure has broken down that much, what were you doing all along? Why am I paying for that when you're in business? Following the San Bruno gas disaster, PG&E spent nearly a half billion on pipeline safety last year. The utility now wants ratepayer dollars to upgrade transmission lines and gas storage. Projects like the Pipeline Explorer, which conducts an MRI-like investigation. And new miniature robotics, a three-inch rover checking for cracks along the pipeline sleeving. But ratepayers were not in a forgiving mood. This is sort of akin to a drunk driver who kills a family, coming back to the survivors and saying, I need a better car. If I had a better car, this wouldn't have happened. We don't want to pay for San Bruno. These were upgrades that should have been made a long time ago. PG&E says its shareholders have already committed $2.7 billion towards modernization. This case is not about remedying the past. It's about moving forward and building and maintaining the infrastructure needed for our 21st century uh, customers. My name is Fred Quinn, and I'm a gas service supervisor for PG&E. Meanwhile, these image commercials are running in Sacramento about local folks working on natural gas safety. The company says these are progress reports not connected to the proposed rate increase. The utility says that the increase would cost the average rate payer about $60 a year, something that most folks don't feel good about. In Sacramento, Tom Duhane, KCRE 3 News. California Public Utilities Commission officials say a vote on the proposed increase won't happen until March of next year.